This is a brief introduction to the pervasive health monitoring device developed at the Berkeley Institute of Design. The current version of the health monitor measures 1.4 inches by 1.8 inches and is designed to be ultra low power consuming, small, yet support a robust set of features. First, the device anatomy. At the core of the device, you'll find a Texas Instruments MSP430 based microcontroller. This microcontroller provides our analog to digital conversion interfaces with the flash-based file system and the Bluetooth chipset. The Bluetooth chipset we are using is the Blue Core 3 by CSR. It's a very powerful chipset that includes most of the electronics required for Bluetooth implementation internally. In conjunction with the user's cell phone, it provides our health monitor with internet access through dial-up networking, the ability to remotely monitor someone's breathing sounds when used in a hands-free configuration, as well as a means of synchronizing recorded data with a PC through object exchange. Our input signals are conditioned and amplified using analog devices AD627 low power instrumentation amplifier. The three amplifiers are currently configured to record ECG, EMG and GSR, and finally temperature. The next version is slated to add pulse oximetry support. We also amplify an audio signal that's required to flash or optionally transmitted real time via the Bluetooth interface. The amplifier is a low power two stage maximum. 4469 IC. The audio signal can be used to detect the onset of asthmatic episodes, to listen to the heart, or simple breathing sounds. The back side is populated with a trans flash memory socket where data is stored to a FAT16 file system for easy access. You also find a Freescale 3 axis MEMS based accelerometer that can be used to detect the user's body orientation, their activity levels, or even detect a fall. Finally, you notice a 13 pin programming interface. Here is a brief demo of the operation of the health monitor. First, a small lithium polymer ion battery is connected. The battery has a voltage regulator taped to the back. However, this will be incorporated into the health monitor in the next version. This is all that's required to start the device recording data. To visualize what's being recorded, a simple pocket PC application has been written to graph the real-time data through the Bluetooth interface. After starting the application and selecting connect, real-time ECG and accelerometer data is streamed to the phone. As there are no ECG leads attached, you will see no signal in the top window. In the bottom window, you will see a red, a blue, and a green trace, each corresponding to an axis of accelerometer data. In the next segment, I will demonstrate the ECG recording functionality of the health monitor. We are currently using standard silver silver chloride electrodes for development purposes, but plan on incorporating all sensors into a chest strap. Two cents and one ground electrode are placed on the user and attached to a shielded cable. First, the battery is attached to the health monitor. Next, the ECG leads are connected. After starting the application and selecting connect, you'll notice the user's ECG being displayed on the top panel of the application. The waveform is dependent on the location of electrodes, but convenient locations were chosen over ideal locations for the signal in this demonstration. In the bottom panel, you'll see the accelerometer output, and notice its variations as the health monitor is moved and shaken.